We are back and this time we are learning how to set up a torso and gun mounts for your mech. Start by spawning a torso prop. It's a good idea to use the same model as your hip prop. Place the torso prop above the hip. Ball socket center the torso to the hip with minus 180 to 180 movement in all directions. I prefer the seat and reactor to be in the torso, though it's not required. Now we need a torso chip. Link can be found in description to get one. Place the torso chip onto the hip prop. Make sure the torso chip points forward. Wire up the torso chip. Dead is a relic from the old walking chip and is unneeded. Now place a camera chip onto the mech. It can go on either the torso or the hip. Wire up the camera chip. Scope is a zoom key. Pick the control you wish to wire that to on the pod controller. Cam toggle swaps between third and first person. I wire this to alt on the pod controller. You can pick any key you wish. Wire fob on the camera controller to the zoom output on the camera chip. You should set the weight of the torso to be the same as the weight of the hip. If your torso rolls side to side when looking up and down, set the swap roll and pitch option to 1. If your torso aims down, when you look up, set flip pitch to 1. Now we have a functional torso and are ready to attach hard points to it. We start by spawning a small gun model. Go to the DAC folder in the browse section of the Q menu and spawn the 025 laser model. Place this gun where you want the hard point to be, then ball socket center it to the torso with minus 180 to 180 movement in all directions. Set the weight of the hard point to 50 kilograms. If they are set too light they may have problems. Place a gun control chip onto the torso and make sure it points forward. Wire the gun control chip up. Set the hard point as the gun. No collide the hip and torso and the hard point and torso so they won't get in each other's way. Now we have a functional mech with a working turret. In the next tutorial we'll learn how to use weaponry 